Hey, how's it going? Jason here. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about some failures, in particularly the San Jose Juniper that didn't do so good. So today we're going to talk about failures. You know, in bonsai, you're not always going to have every single tree turn out exactly how you want it. You're going to have failures. You're going to have lost limbs. You're going to have broken branches. You're going to have dead foliage like this. Let's talk about what you do when something like that happens. So right here, I've got another juniper that's very similar, but this one's actually green. It has nice foliage. It's grown out. There's nothing dead inside. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a nice looking tree and very nice looking raw material that can be turned into bonsai uh, through a styling, through use of some wire, some bending, and just some shaping. So basically this tree in the spring uh, they were both sitting next to each other, but sometimes, you know, one of them just kind of gets attacked by pests. And in this case, that one was attacked by spider mites. And what happens when you get spider mites is that the foliage here will start to turn a little bit silvery, and it'll just start to deteriorate over time. Uh, the spider mites will start to affect it, and then it'll just kind of get weaker and weaker and weaker, and eventually it will kind of kill off those branches. Even at that time, even if you've got too heavy of an infestation, it might be too late. You can spray it, you can use a miticide, you can use, um, you know, some people like to use Dawn dish soap, uh, which works really well. There's lots of different things you can use to get rid of those mites. Uh, the most important is just make sure you repeat the process seven days later, just so that you get the eggs and you kill that whole cycle. And it's all about ending that cycle so they don't just keep on populating and spreading throughout your tree. Which brings us to this, this wonderful looking tree right now. Um, this one was hit with spider mites and I sprayed it. I did that whole thing, but unfortunately it was a little too late. It was in the corner and it just kind of took its toll. Now, what happened over time is I hoped that these would actually survive, but even as bad as this, you know, looked, and I treated it and I still lost branches. You know, I lost all these branches, but it wasn't, I didn't lose hope. So the overall health of the tree is still intact, as you can tell by the nice green that's going on right here. The trunk itself is alive and it is now sprouting just all this nice foliage. And even on some of these branches, you can see little hints of green coming out. So that's really nice. That means this branch isn't dead. And if I proceed up on some of these other ones, even this one right here, that looks like it's a goner. I can see that, you know, the trees sprouting out right between those needles right there. And it's basically going to replace all these dead needles. I think the most important approach to when you've got something like this happening is to just not give up hope on it. Your tree is going to be pretty resilient, especially certain species of junipers. They're going to be resilient to pests. They're going to be resilient to heat. They're going to be resilient to some drought. So it, they're really tough trees and they're going to want to survive. If you're able to find the underlying issue that's affecting your tree and you're able to correct it, sometimes you can reverse course on the tree and it's going to try to, it's going to, try to grow again, which is what's going on here. So what I'm going to do today is just get rid of some of this yellow growth. Um, this will help, you know, it's, there's no chance that these, once they start turning like this, they're gone. So what we're going to do is just trim off some of that stuff and try to get this guy looking a little bit better. I might not get rid of all the branches here because I think some of them might be twisted up. We might create some interesting, some gins and kind of show some history on what happened to this tree. And I always think that's interesting on trees is to see a little bit of the history on the tree. And that can include, you know, things like this, some hardship, in which in this case it's called neglect, my neglect. So sometimes it goes through some hardship, even if it's caused by us. But even if it has that, sometimes it's interesting to show it. And as you can see, this is my punishment for not taking care of my tree, is I gotta sit here and cut all these off. All right, so I basically got rid of most of the dead stuff, but I've left a good amount I have some of the dead branches um, that were originally on here. And then also I've left some of these that actually have a little bit of green on them now. So when this happens, when you, when you know, when sometimes you lose the battle, try to figure out what was the main issue. And if you can solve it, you might be able to save your tree. And if you've got growth like this, even just this little bit of growth on your tree is going to end up becoming a whole new, all these are branches, all these, every single bud that you see is going to be a branch. So you can just imagine if this was all filled with foliage, I'm going to get a completely new style on this. So what do you guys think? You guys think I should tilt it down? I don't know, the movement on this is kind of funny. I'm going to tilt it up this way, diagonally. I mean, this is a ton, you know, gin all this. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of interesting movement right there. Um, gin all this, use some of this as gins just for the his historical sake. 
You know, I can already see me styling. This one's pretty nice, actually. Look at that. You've already got some branches to work with. So it's not completely lost hope in this tree. Now I've got an apex here. I'm just gonna let that grow and I'm gonna let all this develop and see what kind of movement develops out here. I guess it's kind of weird branch right here, but that's easily solvable. So what do you guys think? You like this way, and this way. You guys like this as the front. I'm gonna be tilting down like that. So it's okay if you make a mistake. Mistakes are part of bonsai. Um, everybody has a boneyard of plants. Everybody has a boneyard of trees. That's just part of the process. But sometimes if you can find that, you know, that root cause, you can save a tree. And in this case, uh, I think we were able to save this one. So I thought that was something interesting to share. Um, not all the trees that you see in all the, you know, sometimes you see in all the videos, all this wonderful material and they style it and it's great. But sometimes, you know, this is kind of like, especially for beginners, if you guys are getting started, um, this might end up happening to some of your trees. Uh, just make sure that you kind of address the issue and don't give up on the tree. Keep on watering it. Make sure you still take care of it because it might just start pushing buds. And next thing you know, you've got some really cool material again, maybe even more interesting than you did in the past. If you guys thought the video was helpful, give me a like. If you have trees like this that has happened to you that you've turned into something interesting, let me know in the comments as well. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching.